I want to play another game with them, this team because they are amazing. We are growing. We are a new team with some guys with experience and I'm very happy because I can play one match more here in the World Series, so that is... Well, I hope to speak to you after that. Good luck. Okay, thank you very much. An emotional Santiago Gomez Cora delighted with that win. So now we're underway. Samoa, England Cup semi-final. Here is the state of play. It's quite simple. Samoa win this game to reach the Cup final. They have won the series. England win. They open the door for New Zealand who are against their old rivals Australia in the second Cup semi-final. So that is what is at stake. Finally, the sun is shining. And Scott Hastings is alongside for this one. Ochi Adusa has a go. Chips ahead, England. Using this ploy, using the kick ahead. Quite a bit here in Edinburgh. Kicked most possession yesterday, day one. Wasn't their best day, was it, yesterday? They drew a line under it, though, and they've come out firing today. Beat Scotland 19-7. Samoa beating South Africa 19-0. Tessamino, top try scorer this series against Turner. He's out to touch. Good covering work. Good lung-busting work from Matt Turner. And Samoa right, nice go with now. the physicality, don't nice they? Mikaleli, Fo Saliba. Uli my Lola Louie will control things behind as they have done all series quite, quite brilliantly. Series leaders. Five, five. Twelve minutes now away from a series title. Can England deny them that? Turner. He's just done a huge amount of work in defence now in attack. A oh, good play there by Samoa. Willie Mai with the switch. Lola Louie. Now, can Samoa start to spark something against this English team? Powell tracks back. But it is Samoa. Is it Rodwell? Oh, he's just got there. Iono draws first blood. 5 0 to Samoa. Yeah, Afo Iona, but the brilliant running by Lola Louie to set up the try. And didn't Rodwell do well to try and track him down? Yeah, thanks. Lola Louie, brilliant, the switch. Well, you are there. He was feeling it, wasn't he? Could hear Rodwell chasing him down, could hear the hooves hunting him down, but he just had the pace could come down to conversions every kick important here it's cup semi-final time and interesting just looking on the halfway line the communication that's going on with some more where they're going to go lua louis absolutely superb with the drop out and then now who really am i so important within the samoan game the way they restart and regain and possession. Guys. England, if they're going to gain the possession, have to challenge at the kickoff. You would think Samoa would keep it away from James Rodwell, who's foot. been quite brilliant in the air. Second one's a knock. Knock on though, Samoa. Second one's a knock. England scrum. scrum. That's in here, a three-man scrum each side, but important part of the Not area. Well, we can see the stats there. England, as you said, Johnny, have kicked an awful lot of possession. It's a greasy ball as well. Now, are they going to handle in this particular tie? Gollings, huge experience. They've used him well, haven't they? Bringing Nick Royal has been very effective when he's come on. Look at the tussle for the ball. It's almost sort of 15-man Calcutta cut rugby out there at the moment. England get it, though. Mickey Young down the short side. No, he... Switches play, Rodwell over the head, bamboozles everyone. Ten from the side. Lovassa goes in, Pesamino is in from the side. England penalty, 7-0 the score to Samar. 
turn a big hand off for little man Mickey Young goes in Samoa have turned it over there and he's a lot isolated wasn't he Matt Turner didn't have the support Lola Louie tackled by Gollings two great great sevens players there tussling yeah Gollings Gollings claiming that uh, he, he couldn't get away I think he just stayed his ground and delayed that possession as a result he had words with the referee Stuart Berry marches him back 10 yards ill discipline there from Gollings on the line. Very firm, the referee there with Ben Gollings. And Lola Louie will take his time here. Well, Gollings, it, he likes a little word here and there, and I I just think if he just gets on with his rugby, he's too good a rugby player to start that sort of shenanigans. Excellent use of the word shenanigans, Thank Scott. Thank you. Just giving a Celtic twist to today's commentary, but... Uh, no, it's good to see the sun out. There's still a wet ball, obviously, with that downpour earlier on. Really crazy conditions here. All the uh, all the seasons in one day is the same. Floodlights are still on. Not sure why anymore. Samoa. They know how important this game is. They know what's at stake. I think this is a deliberate tactic for. Uh, some more, they're playing down the short side, they're taking the physical out, they're ensuring that Tom Powell and James Rod will all make the tackles and then they'll go wide. One Las Vegas, they won Adelaide, they won Hong Kong. Can they win here in Edinburgh? Five. They don't need to, they need to just get to the they're final. Anyway. Ticking this clock down, the end of this first half. And England have the line out, one last chance we'll in this first seven minutes. I think Ben Ryan will be quite pleased from an England perspective. They just have to be sensible. England have taken it quickly. Given it quickly to the Dooza. Powell. Turner. Tries to go on the outside of Michelelli. Tackled now, not held though, so went on another meter or so. Gollings, men over here for England. Duza, Barden, good arc back inside to Powell. Just about over halfway now. That's good rocking, no hands. Samoa have turned this one over though. Hands in. Now a penalty, can't finish of course. On a penalty. Hands in. So we will have this play. There's some tired bodies out there for uh, for both teams. Six. Interesting, I thought at one point England might actually just kick for touch, settle for the half-time 7-0 score. But do a lot, he's uh, injured. And on comes winning the number three jersey, Nick Roll, who ran so well in that quarter-final on this occasion. Samoa decide, now that's the end of that. Let's just get a half time and play from there. They have been using him slightly later in the game, haven't they? Nick Royal. But he's taken his chances very well. 7 0 the lead. Samoa will be happy just with a one point win, won't they? Get to the final. The series is theirs. Good co coaching principles coming out there, reminding his players, asking them were they listening. Chop, chop, put them down on the ground. Some more can't then play, play rugby. Yeah, very clear the instruction of Ben Ryan, wasn't it? Taking them round by the ankles, can't run without them. Simple but effective, and patience, patience, patience. 
The pressure is on Samoa, isn't it? Oh, very much so. Everything rests on this particular tie. It's a, even I'm nervous here in the commentary box because these guys have played so well. They've played with such passion, with such verve, with such enthusiasm. And the individual skill matched with this brilliance of teamwork and ethos is what sets them aside. And this young man, Uelimai, absolutely one of the top performers on the World Series. The knockout, no, no, no knock, sorry, off the shoulder. Referee allows play to go on Uwe Mai, that surely is a knock, and it is. England scrum. Yeah, poor pass, though. Delivered nice. from uh, Levesa. Oh, Last scrum was good, keep it like that. 92nd tournament for Samar. On the brink, aren't they? On the edge. Mickey Young, great footwork from him, was looking for support. There was no one there. The referee says Samoa on their feet. England just about getting the ball back. Knock on by Samoa in the end. England scrum, it's tight. It's tense out there. You would expect that. Well, the beauty of the tight camera angle that we had, well, we saw the hands in there, didn't we? And what about that? The switch from Iona, and then you put on Trevor Innes. He's a solid unit as well. Cut. Suddenly you beef up Touch. that pack Touch. for some more. Gollings. To turn up. You can see the physical nature of both these sides. Side at the breakdown. Just let go, leave him, leave him, leave him. I must say the quality of the officiating here has been brilliant. It's clear, it's precise from all the whistlers here at uh, Murrayfield. Of course, all the uh, everything's under the, the, the um, microscope, isn't it? And from the yeah. individual skill to the actual contact situation to the refereeing. Oh, New Zealand watching this one. They say they've just come out here to win the tournament and whatever, whatever else happens, happens. And away nine! Question up though, don't you? He can't go anywhere. He can't go anywhere. The referee's decision going England's way that that time. Mickey yeah, Young was turned. Was a slightly yes. lucky call there. Just five minutes left now. Yeah, what an interesting two minutes. Nothing really happening. It's been a, a very much a physical Touch. struggle Ball, up front. Ingo. Tightness within the play will soon open up. Here is Royal up against Pessimino. Young whips one out. Turner is there. It's good. Powell is on his own because Royal has slipped down, but he's stayed strong on his feet. Barden, it's very slippery out there. Young quick hands needed to be, didn't they? Gollings chips ahead. Referee says play on. Folks to live up. Runs it out of defence. No quarter given, none asked here. No, England absolutely Please containing move. Samoa, just Please putting move. them under pressure. As you said, Johnny, it's up to Samoa to react and giving away a penalty. You just get the sense that Samoa are tightening up here. Just over three minutes. Royal out to Powell. But they have kept him wide, haven't they? Tom Powell has scored. Bo Silva kept him wide, though. But Ben Gollings is a great striker of the ball. 7-5 now. Yeah, the big, tall, rangy Powell on the outside manages to get the corner. Royal, though, he had a go on the outside, knew the loop pass was on. And Bo Silva just could not get near it. The big, striding Englishman. And what a conversion we've got here. Ben Gollings. Can he nail the conversion to square the match? Sets himself. Beautiful, beautiful conversion from Ben Gollings. It is all tied here. Yeah, magnificent by Gollings. It was his little chip through and kick that gave possession away. But because England's defence have been so good, They've turned over the possession. They've scored that that try that ties the game here. What's left in the tank for Samoa? 
Kevin Barrett is on for England. Powell the try score, a good tackle from him. England trying to counter ruck. Backwards is the referee. Well, he might. Pessimino. Well, fancy his chances from here. Pessimino will go all the way. Samoa strike straight back. He knows Samoa know just how important that score could be. Well, what a statement of intent from Passamino. You knew the minute he had the ball, he had the angle. And look at that stat, 53rd try. How important, how crucial. What a link this guy is for this Samoan team. The way he runs them in. Well, am I? Look at the way he took the tackle and offloaded. Absolutely magnificent from Samoa. And he backed himself, didn't he? Head down right. I've got the pace. I've got the angle. I'm going for it. Lola Louis just off the woodwork. So England still have a chance, don't they? Score, try and convert it. Well, you wouldn't put your money against England scoring, just coming under to the one minute left in this tie. The kickoff so important. This is on a knife edge. Oh, well, he might. Barden. Great work at the restart. Got the call from Gollings, didn't he? Turn up. Out to touch Trevor Anus. Again, Turner, there was only ever going to be one winner there. Well, I was really surprised that Gollings gave that pass. Surely it was up to Gollings to decide to stop, turn, reset the play. Leading point scorer of all time, Ben Gollings. We won't worry about that at the moment. Just wants to win this game. England need the ball, though. It's with Samoa. The Kaleli. Oh, Silva. Referee says play on. Barrett. They want to give it to Royal, don't they? They want to give him a chance. Back, back, back. Oh, back, says the referee. Royal sets off. Release 12. 12 release. Otto, it's not released. England penalty again. Oh, last play. Powell, he's already scored once. First time this weekend. Have Samoa held him up? No. There is the ball for England. Gollings, Rodwell. Does Rodwell have the stride? Brilliant tackle. Barden is there. He'll need to go as close to the post as he can. It is 12 all. And it is Ben Gollings with the chance. And I have no money to put on Ben Gollings. Missing this, he is a brilliant striker, the all-time point scorer. Well, Lola Louis with the brave, brave tackle, but the support that came in from Greg Barden. Well, what drama, what excitement, what a brilliant game, what a brilliant tie of rugby this is, and what excitement here at Murrayfield. Ben Gollings. Will you've struck a more important conversion? Possibly as far as New Zealand are concerned. Oh, it's off the woodwork. Just like Lola Louis before him. It is a matter of millimetres. And now we will have extra time. Well, Lola Louis, he hit the woodwork. Ben Gollins hit the woodwork. Everybody is a gas. What's it like sitting at home watching this? Because this is this is the box office. This is theatre. This is drama. This is sport. Everything resting on this tie from a Samoan perspective. Can England unlock the key to success and victory? Let's breathe again. Let's just explain what happens now. That's a minute of rest. We now have five minutes. Should it take that long for someone to score? A drop goal, a penalty, a try. It is down to golden score. Whoever scores the next point is in the final and wins the game. Well, Johnny, I don't know about you, but my heart is absolutely thumping here in the box. This is just total drama. And Ben Gollins, well, can he still be England's saviour and hero?
Timekeeper heavy. I can hardly watch. Well, Don't worry, we will. <laughs> and we've got a pretty good seat here, Johnny. Action time now. Do Samoa have the composure? We know they have the skill. They've had a brilliant Stop series, that. but it is all about the mental strength now. Barrett just falls off the tackle. Here comes Samoa. He goes backwards. Nicolelli. Barrett was cutting out the pass and in. Important intervention that. Samoa have numbers here. Lola Louis. Ueli Mai. Royal goes in for the interception. It was deliberate, says the referee. Yes, penalty. Samoa now. Decision. <laughs> Do you go for a penalty yeah, goal? Or will they go for the possession? Or will they might? Well, they're just going to tap and go. Oof. Lola Louis. Drop goal. To win this series? No. 22. But it begs the question. Why didn't they go for the penalty? <laughs> this is unbelievable. What excitement. You're right. Why didn't they go for the penalty? Surely the three points that was on offer from the kick from the deck was on. I caught hand off. I caught hand off waiting for a ball. Rodwell went for the cheeky right, 22. The referee hadn't started the watch. Gollings restarts. Royal dives despairingly. Trevor Ennis is there, line out Samoa. The drama of this first cup semi final here in the final leg of the RB7's World Series. Samoa have their hand, one hand on the series. All they need to do is reach the final. They have possession. Another penalty against England. I think the referee may want more here. It's a yellow card. All the cards being dealt the way of Samoa now. Rodwell has his wrist slapped. Oh, it's a knock on from Samoa. It's a knock on from England. We will have the scrum. Oh, incredible drama here. Well, the referee, Stuart Berry, he said there was two professional fouls. The first one came in from Nick Royal. He didn't card Nick Royal. He yeah, then went to his pocket. He put Rodwell in the bin. Samoa had an opportunity there. They knocked on. The advantage was played. Collins knocked on. This is incredible. Oli Lindsay Hay comes on for England. Scrum white, knock on. Your well, ben Ryan has uh, not really used it. Uh, Oliver Lindsay here, but I think he's a man who could really, if he puts the gas on, on. he could make Stop a real watch. difference. The fresh Cuts. man, the fresh legs. England with a put in. Barrett. Oli Lindsay Higgs. First intervention is to Take not control the ball. <laughs> Royal. Now that kick by Blue. Does tap it down kick by Samoa. Gollings has a look. Step back here. Stay back. White nine. Composure, isn't it, at this stage? If you can. <laughs> Composure. I'm trying to even say the word. It gets me jittery. Barden is chasing this one for England. Almost gets it. It's bouncing around. Advantage to Samoa. Trevor Ennis. It's a big man. He's a powerful man. He's a. Quick man, but he doesn't have the pace. Yeah, superb tackle there. Royal in at the corner, and I think it was. Knock on uh, first. Knock on first. Well, he got the support from Kevin Barrett as well, didn't he? Barrett making uh, the tackle. The it doesn't matter. If you go after you take the chance, ball only. Golden score. Right, 12 all it was Cuts. at the end of full time. Touch. This Point first cut. Semi final and England with only six players on the pitch. Thank you, Royal spinning. Ollie Lindsay Haig now 
Does he have the pace? Nolan Louis is coming across the Samoa captain. Just thrown the ball away with Samoa. He'll need to get back and make a tackle now. Folk Silva against Gollings. Ueli Mai. Samoa, so close. Just a missed tackle away. We're into touch. We're into the last 30 seconds of this first period of golden score and Rodwell is back on. Oh, incredible defence from England. What has Ben Ryan inspired this team to do? This belief. And you really felt that surely Samoa had to go wide. Well, they've taken, England have taken a quick one. Barter to Rodwell. It's scrappy in there. You kicked it. Gollings to Powell. Rodwell goes in to clear the ball. Now Royal is on the right-hand side. Will they see him? Gollings. Royal says, kick it ahead. I'll chase. And he is, he's chasing. Needs the footballing skills, comes off the side of the boot. It's into touch. The hearts are beating here at Murrayfield. That was a chance. And Nick Royal knows it. Oh, Otto for Samoa was treading water. It was almost painful. Royal, if he'd had the footballing down, skills of Wayne Rooney, he would have been in. Swap straight out. And we start immediately. No break. Oh. Referee just asking, is there a break? No, it swaps straight away, and we will have another five minutes if it takes that long of high, high drama. Well, we hope you're enjoying this wherever you might be watching this. This is just absolutely stunning play, not only from England, but for Samoa. The whole title, the whole series, the IRB series that started way back in December in Dubai. Resting on this next play. Let's just make it clear. You're bringing some calm to this commentary position, Johnny. Just trying to get some oxygen in the system. It's brilliant. Isn't it a, as a sporting spectacle? Samoa just need to win this game. They need to score next. It is as simple as that. And the IRB Sevens World Series will be theirs. New Zealand cannot catch them. Here's Royal. He's just not been able to get away, has he? Barrett, looking one way, looking the other. Players on their feet. Ollie Lindsay Haig, can he do something special? The man from Harlequins. He's trying to find a hole. Off a Samoan hand. Lindsay Haig again. Thump to the ground. By Samoa. Penalty to England. They'll take this one quickly, surely. Referee pulls them back. Barrett wanted to go. He could see the space. Blue two from the side. Well, it couldn't be clearer, could it? Just calm from Kevin Barrett now. Now, Gollings communicating with the what of England got up their sleeve. What of England got in their pockets to uncork this Samoan defence? Barden. No hands. The next score wins. We're in the second period of golden score. It was 12 or has been since regular play finished. England with the scrum now. The lungs are burning. And that's just in the commentary box. Good excitement, though. Well, I hope the crowd here in Murrayfield appreciate what we're seeing on offer. And I hope they get to their feet and clap and applaud right, these two teams come. because this has been outstanding right. action in the, right. the sevens. Cups. Touch. Horn, Australia and New Zealand in the second cup semi-final have to wait. Here's Gollings. Here's Royal. Tries to chip it ahead. Otto caught it. Second then he knocked it on. And it's Scrum another wants. England scrum. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Look at the errors, Samoa. Surely five of them have come in this extra time period. Just a bit of composure for them. We'll see them win the series. England 
battling away. They're making life incredibly difficult. Has Collins seen something down the short side? No, he turns and comes back to Ollie Lindsay Haig. Youngster. Barden. Look at that defensive line from Samoa. You can't underestimate the physical effort, the fitness here. Time off, says the referee. Assistant referee has seen something. Uh, blue scrum half number 11 tripping weight scrum half when he's taken away in his hands so 11. okay they've got the ball number 11 Iosua is being called out by the referee it was a trip how important will that trip be in the whole context of this year's IRB 7 series do you think Gollings is having a look at the pop at a penalty no throws it ball back ball back to Kevin Barrett so they don't have the length in the place kick Gollings. Rodwell. That's England set play, isn't it, for the penalty. Samoa, counter ruck. Do they have possession? No. They've got more than that. They've got a penalty. Now, is this the chance for Samoa to con counter attack from deep? Iosua. Otto. Composure needed from Samoa. Two from the side. It's not been shown though. England flooding that, weren't they? Referee not happy, he wasn't taken from the mark. Ollie Lindsay Haig goes for the chip. Does he have the pace? The Osua goes back. Lola Louis is there, the captain. Release whites. No, no, Ben. Eight, the ten back. No fix. This is incredible sport. Tackle it in. Thank you. Stay back, stay back. Incredible seventh, incredible rugby of the highest drama. Yeah, who's going to have the legs to go the distance? Of course, Pasamiro is not on the field of play, the sprint machine from Samoa. So the workload's going to have to come from someone. They're going to have to stand up and make that run, make that break. But England's defence have been outstanding. Cherenis is tackled. Barden putting another tackle in. As you say, it's going to have to be a physical effort, isn't it? England. Quicker, you would say, around the park. But there's the break. He's released it. Stay Le on Massa. nine. Stay on nine and three. Out of it, out of it. Nick Royal was told to stay out. He's not happy with the decision, but the referee made it very clear. Now, is this in the grasp of Lola Louis? No, they tap and go. Thank you. Otto, Samoa, the last seven seconds of this second period of extra time, Royal. Makes amends by making the tackle. Samoa have another penalty right on the hooter. Now we will continue to play periods of five minutes until somebody scores. This is incredible. Professional foul. England are down to six. Lola Louis, the captain, has the ball, has the responsibility. Time is back on. Of course, it is a drop kick. He's going to have to go for it. He is going for the penalty, and why not? When you're ready, you have 40 seconds. It's a chance for nothing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's saying he's got 30 seconds to nail this one. Of course, you can't place the ball. It has to be a drop kick in sevens. This is the drama. Lola Louis. If he gets this, Samoa win the World Series. It's there, and the title is with Samoa. They have beaten England here. They have reached the final, but more importantly, they have won the series. Well, if you're standing at home, Wherever you're watching this, stand up and applaud this magnificent effort from the side. This has been absolutely fantastic. Well done, Samoa. And of course, this is just the semi-final. Hard luck to England. They've performed well. Ben Ryan will be pleased with his with his team. The first ever series title for Samoa, but as you say, Scott, it is only the semi-final of the cup.
we have another semi-final but it is Samoa who go through will they play New Zealand or Australia